Samsung Galaxy Mega 5.8 is the smaller member of the new Mega Duo. It features a 5.8 inch screen as opposed to the 6.3 on the other model. Inside the box, which is made out of all recycled materials, you'll find a standard headset as well as a USB cable and an AC adapter. While the 5.8 inch screen is smaller than the one found on the 6.3, it is also of low resolution. At 540 by 960 pixels, it also results in a slightly lower pixel density of about 190 compared to the 230 of the Mega 6.3. Here we have the dual SIM model, which supports two SIM cards. Uh, otherwise, in terms of uh, hardware layout, we have the uh, volume rocker on the left side, as well as a power unlock button on the right. On the bottom, we have a micro USB port, as well as the primary microphone. On top, we have a 3.5 mm audio jack, while on the back, there is the single LED flash alongside eight megapixel camera and a speakerphone grill. When you open up the back panel, which is done via this tab on the site, you'll find the uh, two SIM card slots, which are both blocked by the battery, which means they are not hot swappable, as well as the micro USB port. Samsung Galaxy Mega 5.8 runs the same Android build as the Mega 6.3. It features Samsung's new customizable lock screen, which allows you to enter in your own personalized message as well as configure it with various color settings and so forth. Swiping to the right takes you to a quick shortcut of various apps and swiping to the left takes you to a selection of various lock screen widgets that you can place. Going into the interface, you'll find a standard looking home screen. Samsung has given you the ability to show the widget configuration of all your various home screens so you can quickly see which ones have available space for you to put items on. There's the usual notifications with uh, expanded toggles included in this build. You'll find a, sh a few things missing here compared to the Mega 6.3. Samsung has also included the multi-view multitasking feature, which uh, works great on the large screen of the Mega 5.8. It allows you to do two different items at once, such as watch videos and browse the web. camera is about what you'd expect to see on most recent Galaxy devices. It features quick uh, settings toggles at the top as well as a uh, setting thumbnail view which you can switch to a sort of interactive slider on the right. Uh, there's a few notable uh, items missing here compared to the Mega 6.3 such as HDR mode as well as drama mode and certain other functionalities. Finally, uh, since we have the dual SIM version, there is the special SIM card manager included, which allows you to, as just very settings related to your SIM cards, such as which will be the primary SIM card for your data network, and so forth. And that was the Samsung Galaxy Mega 5.8.